Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is random point in bounding box. Let me run my quick little example, and I'm gonna hit spawn a couple dozen times. We'll see some rotating cubes spin up. Now, if you notice, they're actually all in 3D space. And let me show the collision. I'm using a collision box to define my bounds, so it's easy to see. But basically, I'm using the random point in bounding box node to define where inside this box to spawn my rotating cube. I'll hit spawn a few more times, and you'll see they always spawn inside the cube. So let's go ahead and look at the node. Random point in bounding box is pretty simple. Let's type in random point in bounding, and you're going to find it under math and random. Since it's not a node that requires a specific type for execution, you'll find it with context sensitivity checked all the time. Now it's going to have two inputs, an origin and a box extent. It's going to return back a random value, which is a vector. Keep in mind, as these are vectors, you can always split them to get the underlying floats for all three parts. Now what are each of these? Well for my example here, what I have is this. It's a blueprint with a random for my random bounding box. What I'm doing is for my example is inside of here I have my default scene root which is the middle and then around the scene root I have a collision box where I have the volume set to be 100 all around. So that's why you see this box here with the bounds, the actor uh, location set to the middle. What I'm doing is getting the scene roots world location. So where is the middle right here, the scene root. And then I'm getting the box because it has a nice convenient function to get a extents for the box. And I'm filling those into my inputs. The origin is basically where in the middle of your box is the middle. It's simple as that. It's where's the middle of this box. Now the extents are basically the extents of the box. In this case, if we were to physically look at the extents of our box here, we see 100, 100, and 100. Let's say we set this to 10. What you're going to find is the box is 10 units tall. We set it to 100, the box is 100 units tall, etc., etc. So we have an X, Y, and a Z, which is one value, which is the extents of the box, basically the sides of the box. So when we go back to here, we are saying from our origin point, which is our middle, make a box that is this size. So in my case, 100 by 100 by 100, and then find a random point inside of that box and return it to me. And that's it. That's what the random point in bounding box is good for. Now keep in mind, it will give you points on the edge. So for example, I could technically spawn a box along this edge. And then since my box that I'm spawning, is just a random box, it's a little rotating cube, and its origin is in the middle, you will have half of my box outside of my extents. So you need to keep that in mind. If you want the entire thing you're spawning, or if you want the point that you're going to get from your random point in bounding box to be completely inside your bounding box, you need to take into account the edges of your item or the width, the diameter, and the size of your item. So keep that in mind. But for our purpose, we just simply want to pick a random point somewhere inside of that box, and I'm spawning out a box, a little rotating box. And that's it. That's what your random point in bounding box is. It's useful if you want to easily define a spawning area. For example, I have a right here, this item. I could take this, and if I was to expose maybe these parameters, I could have a spawn area here for some enemies. I could make another one over here, make it a different size in a different place, etc., etc. So basically, I would end up having different spawning areas easily configurable by my designer. That's going to go and wrap up our random point and bounding box node. Remember, it takes in two vectors. The origin is the middle of our box. The box extents are an X, Y, and a Z, basically the lengths of each side of the box, and it creates the entire box in 3D like this. And it's going to give us back a point inside that box, including the edges. 